It's Scott with Yakima here, and it's time to learn how to install and use the Fat Cat Evo ski and snowboard mount. The Fat Cat Evo comes in two sizes, four and six. Install is the same for each, but the six is wider to accommodate more skis and snowboards. Let's get started. In the box you'll find the two snow sports mounts, four clamps, four adapters, and two keys. First, check your crossbar spread to make sure it works with your skis. Skis or boards under 170 centimeters need a crossbar spread between 12 and 24 inches. Longer skis and boards need a crossbar spread between 12 and 36 inches. All good? Then let's go! First, remove the knob from each clamp, like this. Then, press the button to open each mount. Loosely attach each clamp by inserting the screw on the clamp into the mount and partially threading the knobs back on. Don't forget the washers. And keep the knobs in a vertical position, like this. If you have the Fat Cat Evo 6, and the usable space on your crossbar is 24 inches or less, or you want to shift the mount over one side of your vehicle for easier loading, use the alternate mounting position for the clamp closest to the button, like this. Okay, now it's time to place each mount on your vehicle's crossbars. First, route the strap under each crossbar, and hook the buckle into the clamp. The buckle must close with firm resistance. If it closes too easily, or does not stay closed, Adjust the dial until you feel resistance and reclose the buckle. Test the clamp installation by pushing and pulling each clamp in all directions. If the clamps move, tighten the straps further by adjusting the dial. Make sure the mounts are vertical, then fully tighten each knob and close them like this. Test your work again. If the mount is loose, go back and tighten the dial further. On there? Good! If you have round or square bars, be sure to use the included adapters instead of the clamps. For T-slot crossbars, like Yakima Jetstream bars, you can purchase the Smart Slot Kit 2 to easily mount your Fat Cat Evo directly into the T-slot. Time to load up! Loading and unloading your skis and boards is a breeze. Press the buttons and open the mounts. And slide your skis and boards in. Be sure to load skis with the tips toward the rear. And make sure your bindings are between the mounts or, if your crossbars are close together, that one of the mounts closes in the middle of the bindings. Close the mounts, lock with your SKS key, then make sure your load's secure. If your bindings are hitting your vehicle's roof, you need to use the included ski lift. Loosen, but don't remove, the knob next to the opening. Then, loosen and do remove the knob near the hinge. Lift the mount off the screw and reattach the knob. Don't fully tighten it. Remove the ski lift screw from the bottom of the mount and swing the ski lift down. Slide the clamp into position under the ski lift, aligning the holes. Close the knob and install the ski lift screw through the lift and the clamp, like this. Retighten and close the other knob near the opening and stow the wrench away. Easy! Removing the Fat Cat Evo is simple. First, open the mount and flip open the knobs, like this. Then, release the buckle on the clamp strap and lift the mounts off the crossbar. Set them aside for next time, and that's it. See you on the mountain.